every project schedule has a clear beginning with an obvious first task or a milestone. Sometimes the task within the project is driving all the other task dates and thus the project start and finish dates. There are times when a driving task has to move all of its predecessors and its successors as a single block in the timeline. The techniques to architect this type of schedule I refer to as midpoint or block scheduling. What powers this technique is the start to finish sequence type. The project I'm displaying is a simplified training schedule. The training event, that's the one that's in red font and with the red bar, uh, it's a constrained task due to the contract dates, and so all the successor tasks will, will be affected by the training event's finish. The tasks that precede it depend on when the training starts. There can be no delays in the schedule if it's to be executed smoothly. The training event's start and its preceding tasks are bound by start to finish sequencing. The training event's finish is driving successors normally. Let me demonstrate how this is working. I'll delay the, uh, the training event a week. Project doesn't like that. We're going to go ahead and OK the move. And it's constraining the event, as it should, since it's contractual. But as the event moved in the timeline, did you notice that the pre preceding events moved right along with it. Now, in a normal waterfall, there would have been a gap between this training event and the travel to the class event, resulting in a delay. Block scheduling occurs much more often than we think. Rocket launches, training, conferences, software launches, those are, those are just a few examples of this technique. Try the start to finish sequence when you have to move a block of tasks in a timeline. And I think you'll find project even more dynamic than you thought. There's more to know about Microsoft Project. Be sure to check out our other project tutorials on YouTube. For great training in project or project management, contact us at www.versatilecompany.com.